Hey everybody, it's John Swartz with Miller and we're here with Troy Johnson from the Fab School. So Troy, can you tell us a little bit what we're going to be doing in this application? Uh, we're going to show you the process of uh, a silicon bronze or an evander across some sheet metal, which is, uh, this is our windshield, uh, uh, we're going to glue the windshield into the car. Okay. And uh, we're just going to lay a bead of uh, silicon bronze or again evander uh, down the bead. Now, down the eight pillar. now I know this is chromoly tubing, why would you be using silicon bronze in this application? Uh, just the low temperature that we have to apply it with. It, okay. uh, it, it melts in uh, at a very low temperature. Okay. So something like that obviously isn't structural. It's really you're just kind of holding that, that piece yes. that you're going to be gluing the yeah. windshield onto. Yeah, it literally it's just along for the ride. Okay. You know, somewhere to seal the windshield to the car. Right on it. So Troy mentioned the reason why we're using silicon bronze in this application is we wanted to minimize the overall heat input. So for this bezel you can see that as Troy kind of came down either on the bezel itself which is really only 16 gauge with thick material um, and the, uh, the chromoly tubing you got a pretty narrow heat affected zone. And if you compare that down to the, uh, the weld mint or, or the cluster down here how wide this zone is using a uh, 70S series wire um, it's quite a bit different. One of the downfalls of using silicon bronze in a weldment is that, let's say, for example, you're out in the field, something breaks, you need to do a repair, um, you're not really able to go back over it with a mild steel filler rod. And the main reason is, is that essentially what we're doing here is really brazing these two pieces together. And um, to try to weld over that is really just going to be contaminating the weld and, and ultimately it just really won't work. So as far as the settings are concerned, uh, we're using a 332nd filler rod. Um, and the material thicknesses again are 16th to uh, 125. Um, so from an amperage range, we're really only using anywhere between 50 to 70 amps. Um, the difference though in, in the process that we were using, normally if you were going to weld this together, you would direct your torch, the heat on the thicker material and kind of wash it up into the thin. What Troy was able to do, because this is more of a brazing process, is go straight down the seam, just adding um, you know, dabs of filler metal as he goes. So that would probably be the biggest difference between welding this and using silicon bronze. Mm -hmm. 